a Penang Hill funicular system has been running for a century now. It is not just a mode of transportation, but also an iconic heritage that witnessed the transformations of Penang Hill and its surrounding communities. In the early 19th century, Penang Hill was a famous convalescent resort for Europeans. However, attaining its summit either by foot, ponies or dooley carriers would take two hours along its rough trails. The place was so beautiful that the time came when people thought, hey, we must find an easier way to go up. A hill railway was mooted and eventually undertaken by a private enterprise. However, its first launch in 1905 failed owing to a faulty design. It was not until 1909 that hopes were revived with the appointment of A.R. Johnson as Penang Hill Railway's resident engineer. He designed the system and of which is actually full of challenges actually in the Penang Hill area. This system allows the trains to move up and down steep incline with minimal energy consumption, making the system both efficient and environmentally friendly. Johnson proposed a double-tracked funicular system alongside the construction of 11 viaducts to overcome the hill's steep dips and recesses and a tunnel to bypass the huge granite. Migrant workers mainly from India and China joined forces in its massive construction. Successful completion of the Penang Hill Funicular Railway in 1923 transformed the public transportation landscape in Penang and Malaya, rendering the impossible possible. The history of the funicular railway uh, is actually also a global achievement at that time. And when you took the trains, each of these moments was a celebration. You say, wow, wow, you know, going there. And then you had that real magical moment where then you are coming to a tunnel. And to have a tunnel built in the hill station is an engineering feat. The funicular railway climbed steeply to the top of Penang Hill, almost 3,000 feet above the sea. It's, however, a brief journey. The railway ushered a new dawn on Penang Hill. New infrastructure came along with a public tram line to the lower station from Ayayitam and good water and electricity supply within Ayayitam Valley. Together with Keklok Sea Temple, the Penang Hill Funicular Railway boosted Ayayitam as a popular tourist destination. For visitors and local residents, its summit is reached in half an hour by the only funicular railway in Malaysia. Every journey has its moments. The view from the top, a panorama of city and harbour, the ships in the straits, mountain ranges on the mainland, softly delineated under the tropical sky. It has contributed immensely to the transformations, not just of Penang Hill, but the surrounding areas like Aitam or even Aiputi area, and possibly by Turubung. It also sparked demands for more hill bungalows, despite the Great Depression. Builders who once assisted its construction were hired as bungalow caretakers, farmers and even railway workers. They formed the new hill community alongside its European enclave. The funicular railway became part of their everyday lives ever since. During my early years, I had to go to school I have to use the old train, the first generation train, wooden train. The farmers have to take down their vegetables and their, their product by the train. The residents have to go down, the school children have to go down. All crowded inside one line. There is no religion, no race. Everyone is there. For the first generation, the wooden train, uh, we like it very much, but it's quite airy. But it's a bit slow, five miles per hour. The Prince of Cambodia, so I know, and as well as the Queen Elizabeth of England, also in this wooden train. Bukit Bendera juga tidak kurang indahnya. Keindahannya memikat ramai pelancong dan membuat nama Pulau Mutiara Timur terkenal di kalangan antarabangsa dan memberi potensi besar kepada kemajuan industri pelancongan.
A must-do experience for everyone, its rising ridership prompted the introduction of the new red and white second-generation funicular train in 1977 that could accommodate more passengers. I think the interesting feature, although it wasn't fast, it stopped at many places, including the middle station. And that's where you can really discover the real wonders of Penang Hill. During the peak time where there's a holiday period or a lot of people, our train run non-stop. We call it uh, Sampai Jalan, Sampai Jalan. Pada pukul 6, masuk bekerja hingga pukul 2, 2, 10, 10, 6 pagi. Saya bertugas sebagai porter, uh, mengangkut barang dan memunggah barang. Biasanya tong gas, uh, kemudian sayur, bunga, uh, bunga yang ditanam oleh petani di pada selesai tengah. The train also catered to emergency situations during the wee hours. Sometimes the people sit, also we used to run the train. And sometimes people pass away. Pass away. <laughs> pass away in the middle of the night. So we have got to turn the cop down. Uh, this is uh, not in our itinerary, we have got to do. My son is the second one to be born on the train. So as you come somewhere near the Kongto Temple, the baby come hit, wants to come out already. I just put my hand, try to stop him. Hey, they say, my wife said, cannot, cannot. <laughs> the whole thing came out. So I had to, no, I had to see me, catch hold, catch uh, the baby here. Hey, as the main transport for Hill residents and visitors, safety has always been top priority with daily and scheduled maintenance. In 1974, 1975, I was just a technical assistant. We did maintenance work. Tapi saya nak kerja, kena mari pagi-pagi mari, ma check. Pukul lima kena mari, ma check. Kalau apa-apa jadi, kita mari kasih tahu. Dia cakap ada pokok jatuh, ada ni macam ada damage sikit. Panggil bantuan, ini orang semua panggil ti, kasih clear itu semua potong. Dia cakap siap, semua okey, baru boleh jalan kereta. By the early 2000s, the second-generation funicular train was plagued by frequent breakdowns, leaving stranded visitors with little choice but to walk down the hill along its tracks. Hill residents, however, faced greater challenges. It was evident that the hill needed a new train. In order to uh, increase the capacity and to solve the problem of the cable faults, they need to actually replace with a new system. The estimated cost was around 60 million ringgit. The proposal was approved by the federal government and this massive upgrade in 2010 witnessed another milestone. It is a combination of modernizing a 90-year-old system whilst at the same time preserving the historical heritage of its structures and building. Very funicular is special. We, we all built them custom made. That means that we adapt all our uh, technical solutions to the local uh, specifications. And I think the great thing in Penang was that uh, we, we did not need to do any cuts in the terrain. Nothing. We could stick to the existing buildings. After a year of stoppage, the Hill Railway reopened in April 2011 for all to board its third generation funicular train. With the increased speed of this third generation funicular, which is 10 meters per second or 36 kilometers per hour, the total journey from the bottom to the top will only take five minutes without a need to change at the middle station. With this speed, the capacity of the system increased to 1,000 passengers per hour. This landmark transformation also came with the transformation of the organizational structure. From a unit under the state secretary office, the state government then decided that we should corporatize the Penang Hill. So that is where Penang Hill Corporation was established. Penang Hill Corporation has since managed the funicular railway's operation and maintenance, making the hill a world-class resort. So what we want people to experience in Penang is that they feel as if they are in Europe or in Australia or when they go up on Penang Hill, they feel that they are in a developed country. And this is why it's important that we must make Penang Hill world class. 
world-class facilities, world-class management and world-class experience. So things are good after uh, the new train came into picture. Right? More people coming up. So the business people here have to expand. The train is so reliable and all, almost always on time. It's critical to our operations. 90% uh, of our visitors come up on the Funicular Railway. All of our staff use the Funicular Railway on a daily basis. Even during COVID period, continue to run without fail every single day just to serve the community. We enjoy hiking up and coming down by funicular train. Nowhere in the world, the hikers can go up and come down from an 800 plus meter high hill within two hours. The funicular train has made hiking more fun and convenient for many of us. I'm glad to see the transformation of the funicular system and the hill. Businesses are booming and the surrounding area are very vibrant now. While the third generation funicular train wowed millions of visitors, challenges were inevitable. This is a hill where erosion and all that is a common thing. So you, you got to face it once anything happens, we got to do the remedial things. In 2017, when an unprecedented storm hit Penang, the hill wasn't spared from the worst landslides in its long-standing history. Over 300 places on Penang Hill faced landslides, and everyone thought that the train will be halted for a year. But Penang Hill Corporation managed to swiftly clear the landslides. With the help of Hill residents, the train resumed service in 51 days. The hill has since transformed with better facilities, attractions and activities for all within its biosphere reserve. Sekarang banyak orang ramai mari. Pasal sekarang ni surat lain. Banyak tempat bukit bendera cantik. Dia yau kim pung ba wa lang chou kang ge lang ai le mau ka hi le lang ke la. Dia lang ke ma hua hi lo wa lang mu hua hi lo. Kita mempunyai garis panduan yang jelas. Walaupun kita perlukan pembangunan, kita perlukan upgrading on the facilities, tapi flora dan fauna yang ada memang kita akan terus kekalkan. It is essential to continue to investing in the maintenance and upkeep of the railway, to strengthen the infrastructure and then to continue to modernize the funicular system. It can continue to serve its purpose for the next century. On behalf of the state government, I would like to thank all the staff of Penang Hill Corporation for their commitment to ensure the safety and smooth operations of Penang Hill Railway. You are the real heroes of Penang Hill Funicular System. While visitors in the past boarded its wooden first-generation coaches to delight in the hill's cool air and splendid views, today, the third generation railway offers more than that. From nature, research, to heritage tourism. It is this unfading legacy of the Penang Hill Funicular Railway that makes Penang Hill an exceptional icon of Penang.